Well, I, I thought our first half was probably as fine as we've played, uh, you know, in all phases. Uh, you know, we, I, I told our kids that at halftime, uh, defensively, we were one place, one play away from being a perfect game. You know, we gave the long one up. Other than that, uh, you know, and we had the ball for, you know, it seemed like the whole first half. You know, we stopped ourselves a little bit on a drive, missed a field goal, you know, had a, had a turnover. But other, you know, we've had four, like six possessions and four of them, uh, you know, were points. So, I, you know, that's a pretty good ratio. 18 to 23 on third down. And two of two on fourth down. I mean, well, and yeah, and right. you know, and and, and and you and you look at it, and and a big part of that's the quarterback. I mean, you know, we're giving, you know, you know, our offensive staff, Eric and, and David, are giving him good, good, good calls. But you know, he's making a lot of plays, and I, I you know, like I said, I think he had 13 uh, third down conversions already this year coming into the game on his, with his feet only, and he probably had about five or six more today. About um, player defense, they weren't on the field a lot, but. You know, made some plays. Well, I, I thought we, you know, we gave one, one, one big play up, got, got beat on a, on a, on a deep route early, and then we had the drive when we're trying to, you know, be cautious and not give something up, and they, you know, they did a nice job and, and took a drive there, you know, in the, in the fourth quarter. But other than that, I thought we played, you know, really, really well defensively. Um, five and zero. Oh, uh, right. Played four year old, first five at home, then you get ahead on the road. Right, we do, and you know, it's, it's it's just the flip flop of last year. Last year we had them all at home, um, but but we're looking forward to that. You know, we you know we've won our last eight on the road, and you know I, I don't think there's a feeling where wow, you know we can't play away from from Sherman Field. I, I think our guys will be ready to play. You know, we know it's going to be a great environment next Saturday night, and you know what, all you can do is ask for a chance, and we're we're looking forward to the challenge. Couple words on having the 63 and 65 guys. Back. Well, we we were they they came up yesterday on our Friday walkthrough and every one of them got up and introduced themselves and what they played and hometown. It, you know, and our kids really really enjoyed that. And you know, there was a little sense of pride of, of, of playing that and realizing, hey, you know, if those guys are you know 70 over 70 years old now and they came back to see this football team. That's that that's a pretty good feeling. And there was a you know there was 20 plus guys from that team, which is is you know I think quite remarkable. You know, our guys were uh, Simon Sound. Um, with an option uh, type team like them, you know, we have to be assignment sound and read our keys. Um, inside has to stop the dive and then um, our edges have to watch the pitch man and cue. Um, in that first half, we were pretty good and uh, we got hit with, hit big, but, you know, as a defense, we rebounded and kept our composure. What's it mean to be 5-0 and and get the win on homecoming? Feels great. It's one of my last, you know, it's my last homecoming game, but um, we're looking forward to Grand Valley next week in Allendale. About um, just what you know, what you guys feel like where you're at this, this season so far, halfway through now. Halfway through, I definitely think that you know we're a good team, but there's definitely still a lot that we can improve on, and we'll look at that on Monday. But you know, with these games coming up, we have to improve in order to be able to compete with them. So, all right, thanks a lot. Yep, thanks. Uh, it's always good to come out and win on homecoming. Uh, oh. It's always good to get that homecoming win. Everyone in town uh, really enjoys it, so we just came out and did our job and got the win. So uh, you had a game high seven catches today, 80 yards. Uh, seemed like a lot of things were, were working for you out there. Yeah, the scheme worked. Uh, the scheme worked pretty well. Um, a lot of short passes to me, which I don't mind at all. So it's just going out there and making the catches. Brandon was making some great throws today, so. Conversions, you guys were combined third and fourth down, 20 of 25 today. Real, wow. And uh, so obviously that was a big part of today and, and the conversions, you know, obviously that's a goal is to be above, what, 50%? Yeah, and I think we got it. <laughs> 20, I'm no math whiz, but 22 of 25 is pretty good, so yeah. that's real. That's incredible. That's just, uh, that's what the O-line just praises themselves on is time of, time of possession and possession downs, so. How about um, you know, putting 30 points on the board today in front of the homecoming crowd? That felt good. It felt good to give them a show. Um, you always want to come out and try to get the win, and getting 30 points is just an added bonus. So. All right, congrats. Thanks. I thought our defense played really well. One of our goals was to try to get three and outs and try to get off the field, especially in the first half we did a really good job on that. In the second half we had a little bit of a lapse, but for the most part I thought we did really well at getting that goal. How about um, you had a big sack in there. Uh, talk about that play. Well, that was, as I was telling the guys on the side, and that was really good on their side. I was just supposed to be a container rush on the back side, but the guys on the front side of the blitz, they pushed him my way, and then I was, he just came into my gap, so it was an easy play for me to make. How about the uh, fact that you guys only had to play 13 plays? That keeps it fresh out there in the, <laughs> yeah, the plays uh, in the first three quarters. Yeah, that was, I mean, I like to play more, but I'm not going to complain, especially with the way our <laughs> offense is controlling the ball. 
Uh, talk about being 5-0 uh, halfway through the season. Yeah, I mean, this is where we were last year, and this is where we expect to be, and this is where we want to be. But that just means every week now, every game's going to get more and more important. It's going to be a bigger game every week, but that's what we want. So it's like going to Michigan Tech to play. How about the homecoming, the crowd, and the weather? They yeah, I mean, all yeah, compared to what Tech games usually are like, this is great weather. So I'll take that, and the crowd was great. We had a good showing, so it's always fun when you get to play in front of a lot of people like that. All right.